<laughs> okay, <laughs> welcome back <laughs> to this segment. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah, the yeah, best yeah, way yeah. to start a segment. <laughs> I just gotta say this. All Why? right, calm it down, guys. Welcome <laughs> back <laughs> to the barroomblitz.com. One of our sponsors we is got Goddard School of Children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, we are talking sports here upstairs. <laughs> In the super box, brought to you by Bud Light. We got Doug Shaw, Mike Patsy, me, Jim Case. We got Dead Guy behind the mic. We're gonna bring up the beef section, but I'm telling you one thing before we get to the beefs: Notre Dame football is back, baby, and it would be great if they make a run at undefeated season. Just for college football, clean program, baby. I don't know. They got the BCS whoa, whoa, standings whoa. out. Yeah. I don't know how. It's not clean yet. It doesn't. We have to wait five it. years. All right, wait for someone to be in the NFL, and then they'll take the whoever wins the Heisman away from them. Not Never Notre Dame, out. not Notre Dame, buddy. <laughs> Man, Ty Taylor, uh, four should be up for Heisman because he's controlling uh, no, what's, that team. What's the, what's the, he'll be up for the defense player of the year. But yeah. uh, Buckus Ward. Yeah, he'll get that. But, uh, or Ben Ark Ward. But uh, they're ranked fifth in the BCS. I don't know. Th- they were all talking four. I don't know how they got fifth. But I think five. I don't, I don't know how it works. That's three. all right. But they, they all I talk like, how the scenarios, how they're going to get there, how they're going to get there. You know, they're don't legit. worry about how they're going to get there. Everything, someone's got to lose along here. How? Kansas State's got to play. And to be honest with you, Jimmy, if you look at it, yeah, every team in front of them is better than them. Oh, I don't want to see him. I don't want. I don't want to see you him know? play Oregon. There's no, no chance. No, no. I don't want to see him play Alabama. But, but yeah, I don't want to see that on you January 10th well, or whatever I mean, Monday but, but night. You'd like to see them in that game though. Yeah, ah. against, against like Temple, so we had a shot to I win. Made, I made the we're not. We're not that good. I think I made the comment earlier today. I don't know if it was you today or not. I said that it seems like college football could take every three players out of every team in the top 25 rankings and go, and you can't beat Alabama. No. I, don't no. Think you, I don't think you can beat Alabama. Oh, I don't think so. I think I think the second best team is Oregon. I don't think Oregon will touch them. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't. They're just big, faster. They're big, fast. He's big. The Oregon, they, Oregon is light and fast. Yeah. Yeah. Light and fast. Those Alabama My kids, God. they're big and well, light and fast. It looks like, it, it looks like an NFL endorsed. team playing against college teams. It does. It looks really sickening a little bit. All right. Huge. Just before we get to the beef section, we have some new stuff going on on the site. We have the new blog guys are writing. Uh, my buddy Clancy's Clancy's Corner. It's got the Irish report every week. Get a little something on Notre Dame. Our big guy, Odd the Osnosticator, is on there with his fantasy picks. We're waiting for Patsick to get his role, and maybe on hockey, if they if ever you want, if get you want back. Your fantasy football league. If, just email me, and I'll tell you who to start. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's not that good anymore. Dead last fantasy. Place. Oh, I play, fa- I play fantasy. Stuff. I took advice right. from Doug it's, and picked Roddy. Ray it's time for the beef segment where we bring you up what's wrong with the football world or what's wrong with the sports world. Everything. Do you got any beefs back there? Uh, my beef is uh, Joe Girardi. Calling for uh, instant replay in baseball and his whole big spiel about it. no, because they missed the call. Yeah, yeah. and if, <laughs> no. it, if it was it, unless it was against him, no, nope. he, w- he wouldn't be saying nope. a word about I, it. I disagree. I, okay. I, you know what, Johnny, and I, I really think what you're already just what he said. Listen, I don't. He goes, I didn't think that, that's not going to win us the game. But, no, but, but he, really, but let's let's get it right. Yeah, but he he like I just we have we have the technology, but before him. So he has to, like Charlie Manuel has to get out of the dugout, run. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, he, that had, play he had a good done. point that, play, that, that in the amount of time he'll go there and argue, and, and then Joe Torre the game, they <laughs> yeah. can actually. And then yeah. Joe Torre comes on Mike and Mike and Mike. Well, we're worried about the length of the game. Well, I, I, what do you mean the length of the game? You got to get a sixty-five-year-old guy running out to argue. Yeah, you're gonna have seventy-five and, pitching changes anyway. <laughs> and that 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 thing goes like this, boom. He's safe. Yeah, there my, it is. My, Done. Well, my whole argument isn't for the length of the game or anything. It's just it's there's the human aspect of it. Like it, it like, and I I hate to even say t- what are, what are we not going to have umpires? But like, it's not not at that point. But I don't like you know. I think for a close call like that, I am tired. I don't of like first base calls at first base. Wait, come on, like that's I wh- why t- even send these umpires to umpiring school? You know, you go to the Hunter Wendel, Wendel Stat umpiring school in Phil in Florida. And you I'm tired of hearing the hu- I'm tired of hearing a human element. Whoa, 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 well, whoa, whoa! You're That's taking, what it is. You're taking. He's talking about the human element. The guy's wearing a T-shirt of a bunch of ribs with chains <laughs> instead of oh. Par- <laughs> Paragon Disc Golf. Paragon Disc Golf. The human. Paragon. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Human element. Com. Nice plug. That nice guy, plug. That know? guy was three feet oh, from he, the oh, call he was, and missed he was out. The human element. Oh, I get it. Dude, done. Gone. Instant replay. You think that you think the NFL refs care about human element? No. No. I I I I, I, I understand both sides no. of the argument. I just don't like. We baseball will all, is watched. We'll all be wearing t-shirts with chains on them next week. Dude, baseball is watched by guys 55 and older. Oh. I was gonna say. No. 
Frothforwarddiscgolf.com. Not mm-hmm. ParagonDiscGolf.com. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> All right. Let's go to our next beef. Is he yeah, beef? Next beef. beef. Give us a beef. Oh, I'm going to tear your beef down, too. Oh, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> say it. Uh, say it. <laughs> mine's pretty obvious. I like Percy Harvey. <laughs> it's uh, Gary Bettman is a D-bag, and ho- hockey... Everyone it's in just, hockey are jackasses. It's not Donald player. Fear, Don, whoa, whoa, whoa. Gary Bettman, the owners, hey, Ed Snyder. Jimmy, someone better step up Jimmy, and let get me this give stupid because you, you finally got your sport almost close to being back in the top Jimmy, four. Let me give you, you know, pretty uh, soon soccer is going to pass you. And you're gonna oh, be, damn, come. Oh, whoa, yeah. Whoa, yeah. It will. Dude, it will. No way. Let me give you yeah, because you're sucks. dropping so far freaking down. The sons of Ben are going to take over sucks, the city dude. of Philadelphia. Let me give you a $100 million contract over 24 years. Years, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it, what it, I'm. It's so yeah. dumb. Fourteen-year so contracts, twelve-year contracts. You guys, they did it on their own. The assholes. Well, and yo, I don't. I just charge me a hundred dollars for Bettman, a ticket. This yeah. is his right. third. This is his third strike since he's been commissioner. Third strike. It's Unbelievable. a lockout. Three strikes are out as far as I'm Dude. concerned. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible. They're not gonna well, play hockey. Well, you foul it on. You foul it on. Okay, well, you know, it's All right, Dougie, give me a beef. My beef is, why are they so hard on? Alex Rodriguez, when Robinson, you know, don't you know, Robinson Cano is two for 32. Oh, Nick Swisher Cano. has three hits. Because, I'll tell you, because A-Rod. That has, I don't even know another guy that doesn't have a, Granderson, Granderson. has three hits. Oh, yeah. yeah. And A-Rod, terrible. you know, A-Rod. But, no, but A-Rod's, A-Rod's, A-Rod's had one third. playoff run. And he's making $30 million. How about tech spec? But I'm telling you. Hey, yeah, but I'm know. saying, I'm saying, how many playoff Don't games? You know. How many playoff games has A Rod played with the Yankees? Not He's yet. only had one good year. one out of one, the whole one, one run. Yep. That yep. was it, and they yep. won. Yep. So they know if he would have a run, they could win. He doesn't have a but, run. But You're I'm, getting paid thirty million dollars, buddy. You better show up. I mean, but he, Nick Swisher, now. Come well, on. Nick Swisher's <laughs> a part-time <laughs> player. He's nothing. Nick he starts Nick, all year, though. What it's Nick Swisher, though. It's yeah, your he's, left. He's, he's the, the, he's the, the cheapest Yankees. guy on the team. He's probably making eight million dollars. Yeah, eight million. Do you think that <laughs> Curtis Granderson's another guy? The worst of all time. What? A Rod for productivity compared no, to no, whatever that guy that Flyers were going to sign from the Nashville. <laughs> no, good. dude, he was that fourteen-year jacket. No, I'm contract. saying like, in, like, with, uh, all right, let's forget that hockey's a sport. <laughs> no, we're not. Know you guys, no, love you just that. said it. You <laughs> forgot said hockey it. was a sport a while ago. Yeah, no. yeah. but like, in, like the, the big three, was that the one, the what? worst contract? The worst contract ever. A Rod's contract with no. the Yankees. Who's his worst? You're gonna see Albert Pujols would be the worst. You really think so? Yeah. Because it, by the end of that contract, because he's, he's too old. Right. So right now, currently, right now, currently. Oh, I agree. A Rod right. won. Of all no, time. But of all time. The, there's some brother. I there's don't some. Know yeah, about. but dude, the amount of money A Rod got is unbelievable. Mm. I mean, I know no pitchers ever got a huge contract. All right, let me bring up my beef, and then we'll bring it on uh, Vegas. We got to get this thing going. My beef is Thursday he's, he's night football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am tired of the Thursday night football. It's uh, too much. It comes it's too much. It's too much. It's it's hitting you. Is it football? You don't know when teams are playing. The bye weeks. I don't like it. And then another big thing yeah, is they had a thing on, I don't know what it was on, it was ESPN, they're talking about uh, violence in the stands. Like if you go on YouTube and you can punch in yesterday's games and put it on type fights or whatever in the stadiums and stuff. And I, I alluded to one earlier, the Giants and the 49ers fans after the game were fighting in the parking lot. They <laughs> in San Francisco. Balls. You know what? You know who incited all this stuff? Is all these fans that go to the game dressed up, faces painted, all this stuff. People go to the games and just drink in the parking lot. They don't even go into the games. You know what I mean? Who does Listen, that? Um, you take an RV down there, take 25 people, set a TV up in the parking. The NFL loves it. They love it. You know? I'm, I'm but, I mean, you, 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 you create an atmosphere when every, every time you go to the thing, you got guys, everyone's got to be in a costume, got to have a crazy hat, got to have a sign, got to have an attitude. You go into that game with an attitude. And you know what they're going to end up blaming? They're going to blame, blame the beer. It's not the beer. It's the attitude you portray in the people that they keep pounding well, it and pounding it and pounding it. I'm, I'm, yeah, I agree with you and I disagree a little bit, but. You look at like oh wow yeah I know you're <laughs> gonna disagree with me the greatest thing from <laughs> Seinfeld support your team that's <laughs> fine support yeah. but you know what we all have to go to work the next the Eagles or the Giants lose am I gonna get beat up in a parking lot because the Giants lost to the Cause Eagles because I well, the, in the fact you can't walk <laughs> into my territory <laughs> right with like, the other I can't walk in a jo- on. listen I'm paying for my tickets I have a job like it, 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 it it's ridiculous when it goes and to a point where you can't take your kid a in a, cir- a certain section. No, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, when it, or, yeah, you yeah. Never, you want to bring? Would you bring your kids to a football? No, they want to oh, go, and I have tickets in their band section. But I could take them to a certain one. But I'm not, you know, I, I don't, I can't afford that second ticket. Well, you just don't, you don't want to think that that's where you have to go. All right, all right. Well, why don't we? We're gonna take a quick break. Oh, we're gonna bring in Johnny Patsy. Vegas <laughs> with his pick. We're gonna let Patrick skate on out of here. He's thirsty. Let me bury we'll be Patsy right back. Some more barroom blitz. Dot com. 